this crew I still do grip. I'll still set up a grip stand with a flag or whatever else, you know. It's just not my main focus anymore. For me, gripology, when I first stepped onto a film set, was like Lego for grown-ups. All kinds of cool, shiny sh**. You know, like, just like, wow! And watching cameras be mounted to cars and stuff. Like, that was like, whoa. I don't know, just like the fact that you're creating something. Um, and especially with us being in the, the grip and lighting department, we kind of make the shots, like, you know, we light the shots. Without us, it would look terrible. They tend to be the, uh, you know, the crazy guys on set. You know, grips, I mean, I don't drink anymore. It's been 10 years since I drank, but most grips, you know, man, they're putting that shit away after work, right? You feel worked at the end of the day. <laughs> and you feel gratified for your, your time off. You feel like you're, you truly earned it. Ah, the grip department. Hardworking, dedicated, Surly, occasionally grouchy, bordering on cranky. They smell like smoke and they're foul mouthed. But in the end, they always find a way to get the job done and done well. Under instructions from the DOP or cinematographer, the grip department is responsible for controlling and augmenting the light provided by the electrical department, meaning that they help shape and focus the raw light energy from each lamp on set. They create moody shadows or even change a light's color and shape by using a seemingly endless variety of specialty tools at their disposal. From various stands to gels to flags to blacks and green screens to clips, to cranes, and jibs, and dollies, and dolly tracks, as well as those handy multi-purpose apple boxes, the list goes on and on and on. The gear used by the grip department helps them cover just about any tricky scenario that the DOP might conjure up. However, grip gear can get expensive to rent, which is often why grips get surly and grouchy. You see, production tries to cut costs by eliminating anything that isn't absolutely necessary, which might put the grip department in a sticky situation should the DOP ask for something out of the ordinary. So we will need it. We're, yeah, it's, okay. it's all being used. Every production has the same issues, same problems. Time versus money versus ability. But. These are grips we're talking about. They are problem solvers that think on their feet. Certainly there are times when um, you have to come up with things on the fly. Most lighting gags we will have um, pre-planned, um, like today, with the fire flicker. Uh, there are other times where you have to come up with it on the fly, and that's another thing about one of the fun things about our job is that there are a thousand different ways to do something. Right now, Robbie. This is a uh, light gag to simulate entering from clear night sky to cloud cover. I guess the, the the neatest thing for me is to do these little these little light gags and then to see the finished product and and be like, hey, I remember working on that show. How much does this look? I mean, oh, you're covering up that guy. That's exactly right, sir. They call for cloud, and I'm just gonna slide my. We're in uh, there's a lot of things that you see on camera, um, cop lights, explosions, that you can not necessarily need that specific item to do it with. Well, today you saw me doing the clouds. I mean, it doesn't look like much, you know, but when you think back to that, you go, geez, I was laying on the floor, jammed in behind these seats to make that effect work. And if it does work and it reads on camera and it looks good, then done my job. Certainly there are specific pieces of equipment used for specific things, but you can get around that a lot of the time. And that's one of the really fun parts about working is it's like being a kid and, you know, using the Tinker Toy system and being amazed on how, how you can break something in a different way to achieve, achieve a goal. Yes, the lighting gag. 
a shining example of grip ingenuity. In the absence of proper gear, why not grab whatever's lying around and figure out a way to make it work? As long as it looks good on camera, it doesn't really matter how you do it. This is filmmaking, where the ends very much justify the means. Over the next few months, we here in the film lab on thesubstream.com will be working on a series of how-to lighting gags. Really simple, really cheap solutions to create lighting effects that will do the trick. Please send us any suggestions and we'd be happy to try and incorporate them. Bye for now.